In this new version of Autobid Mechanical 2019, we have the ability to save our user touch menus as mouse menus. Now a lot of our users who are still using digitizers are trying to make the transition over to using on-screen view and using the mouse menu. Now if you come in and this mouse menu is not familiar to you because you've been using a digitizer for years with that touch menu, we have the ability to create a mouse menu that matches your touch menu. And so we're going to take a look under Digitizer and we're going down to Customize Touch Menus. Now notice this also works for those of you out there with the Smart Menu. So this happens to be the 5.0 Piping Touch Menu. And you can see that this probably looks familiar of you to you guys who are still using digitizers. And there's many columns. We've got pipe and T's and dimensions and stuff. If we want to convert that, we have file and we could save as an items mouse menu. So it's confirming this. Now the, the touch menu and the mouse menu are not the same width. So that's what it's going to do here is it's going to break it up into two menus or two tabs for us. I'm going to click yes and I'm going to say 20 columns. Okay. Now here's a list of errors that have popped up. It's just telling us that not everything can be converted over. The only cells that get converted over are cells that work in the on-screen view. So in this case of aligning a drawing or switching a menu or navigating up or down, that's not going to convert over. These wouldn't be useful in on-screen view or auto-trail view without an actual digitizer. So let's go take a look at that mouse menu and see what happened. So the mouse menus are stored under Tools, Customize Mouse Menu Items. And there's our 5.0 piping menu. And you can see now I've got two tabs with items that look really familiar to you if you've been using the digitizer and the touch menu. So let's take a look on tab two. So on tab two, I happen to have all my fittings. I've got pipe here. I've got my branch from commands. This is for if you're using graphical takeoff and on-screen view works very similarly. We've got our dimensions area. Um, and a few other items over here for symbols. The items tab starts out with the what was once the leftmost portion of your touch menu. And you can see we had pre-programmed systems in here and various valves. Now, if I want to change some of these things, like say I want pipe, instead of the word pipe, I want it to actually appear and have an icon for pipe. I can come in here and click, and I can go find the cell image that we had set up to use for pipe for the other menus. And I'll select this pipe. And see now it's re replaced the word pipe with a picture of the pipe. So you can take some time and go find the bitmap images and assign them to these buttons. Or you could work with just the views, the words. Now I want this to work for my on-screen view and my audit trail view. And so I'm going to add these two checkboxes and I click in here and I could now see I've got a mouse menu that mimics the touch menu that was laying on your digitizer. We hope this helps you transition from digitized takeoff to on-screen view takeoff using the mouse. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.